hello boys and girls and welcome back to my channels so uh one of you guys asked me to create a tu uh, tutorial about how to create different car parts so i decided i'm gonna uh, show you uh how to create a rim uh, it was actually the most uh, simple and easiest one to create uh, about the race you have to be more specific because there are different kind of brakes and all kind of you know parts um, so you have to be more specific because the technique also can change so but in this case it's a uh, pretty simple and you can virtually create almost any kind of uh, rim profile that you want and shape and, uh, and everything here so um, yeah so this is the rim and um, it was actually pretty simple to uh, create i'm not gonna redo it from the beginning but i'm gonna go through all the steps that i did and i'm gonna explain everything um, so you're not gonna have any question so let's start i'm gonna go all the way back to the beginning um, obviously i started by creating a new component and i created the the sketch the profile so this is the profile this is how it looks and i'm gonna just uh, turn off the constraints so it's gonna be easier to see now if you want you can just pause and you know, stop the, the video and you can copy take a screenshot of the sketch here but uh, this is uh, I was just inspired I looked for a profile uh, of a rim in, in Google I saw a picture I got inspired so um, it's based on that but uh, all the sizes you know and the different uh, shape here the angle is something that you can you know create by yourself and um, include all the rest here this is for the um, the wings or whatever you're gonna want to call it and also here in the base here in the middle so but first what I did I created a rectangle which I then um, you know turn it into a construction and that is because I'm gonna use this I uh, created kind of a relationship so um, I constrained it the sketch to the rectangle so then I can change you know the the, um, the radius very easily as you can see here I can change it to uh, let's see 260 and voila if you're not quite sure about the uh, the radius the radius well okay so um, I just created this profile here in the top and I created this one here with the thickness and connected here down below. This is the, the part, you know, the middle one. And um, yeah, that was quite simple, but just bear in mind, if you're creating something like this with the T-spline, you're gonna have to uh, constrain it, you know, with dimensions, because if not, it's gonna go haywire when you changing the radius, okay? so uh, you're just gonna have to play with it to figure out which handle you need to uh, you're gonna need to um, dimension and for example this one i didn't have to but those here and those in the top i had to because if not it's gonna go crazy now it's up to you you can again this is the technique this is the idea um, you can basically put them more here outside if you want but i chose to create it more close to the middle so it's up to you what kind of shape do you want to put out here and um, yeah so that's the sketch next what i did we finished this one i revolved the middle part first and when i finished with this one i moved on to the to the profile to the outside profile and for that i moved into the uh, patch environment because that's gonna allow us to um, create you know uh, a surface from that uh, sketch here and then I just use the uh, thicken tool to thick to thicken this um, this surface okay I can just turn this one off and, and that's it that's what I got so we have right now we have two bodies we are not gonna um, I didn't uh, combine them yet but I'm gonna do it uh, soon now I just gonna I started working on the uh, on this part here in order to create the holes the shape and that's what you're gonna do you know if you're gonna put them you're gonna start here from outside or whatever so I again turned on the sketch and then I created I used the revolve to create uh, to create this cut here and then I used the um, 
let's go back to the model then I use the um, pattern circular pattern to pattern this cut here all around three times okay you can see and that's how I got those you know propellers <laughs> if you can call them that and yeah as you can see it's very very simple if you want instead of doing this way you can also cut it for example you can create a, a um, an offset plane for example to here and then you can just sketch something kind of a shape here and then you can use the extrude to cut through and then you can you just need to remember to turn uh, not this one this one off so you can cut it really nicely and then you can just you know use the pattern um, to pattern this all around okay so um, yeah and then I started working on it and then I uh, used the combine tool to combine them together and start to adding some fillets let me just turn off this sketch and I kept working removing adding more material as you can see here and this stage here I, I created a new sketch here outside in order to create you know the, uh, the hole for the balls uh, again it's up to you whether you want to create the balls you can create an extra material here and then you can create a place for the balls here if you want and yes so I created you know another sketch for the other holes as you can see here and I just extrude it it's very very simple steps and yeah I start working on them adding the fillets uh, yeah here you can see I already uh, used the pattern the feature pattern for uh, to put them all uh, all the other um, wings I'm gonna call them and then I yeah created the uh, the place for the bolts and again pattern them pattern this uh, feature all around and here in, in the core here it's a kind of a tricky thing so what I did instead of using a fillet for example I've used the pipe tool so I've created this cant here you see really nice round cant it's very easy you just you know go to the uh, pipe and then mark this one and voila okay of course you just change the size and you, you change it also to join instead okay so that's gonna, gonna happen next as you can see here so they are really nice and round and but if you don't want that you can always uh, create a fillet here instead or create a different shape here and okay let's move next yeah now from now on I just started to you know to add all the different fillets all around and I created this sphere here in the middle it's for fun you can all, all different kind of uh, features here so I created also this um, this cylinder here this primitive here in order to make it more strong I thought okay maybe it's gonna be too thin you need to make it more tough or I can actually create the balls here on those three places instead of here if you want and um <clears throat> okay let's move next so i created a new sketch here and and that was two, like two circles and that was for the for the rings that you see here um i chose to join the rings instead of to create a cat a uh, cut over there and again i created a fillet and another fillet here somewhere which is it's red so I can just delete this one okay I don't know why this one happening but never mind for now so as you can see here basically most of it it's based on this sketch here okay so that's that's where your most your attention have to be this is gonna determine how and everything is gonna look and um, and if you gonna for example let's just say I'm gonna change I'm gonna remove this one here I'm gonna click OK 
now the um, the sketch is on so if I want I can change also a little bit I can play with the shape but bear in mind it can also affect the fillets that you have created okay as you can see here it changed so now I have this kind of warning I don't know why uh, for the reference failure uh -huh. the loss cash use okay so I have something has disappeared and that's why I got this arrow and uh, okay I can see there is a reference here which basically disappeared so uh, if I'm gonna go let's just see here if I can fix it now I'm gonna do an again a projection of this one here yeah you can see the yellow here this is not good basically it means that something disappeared we'll see if it's gonna fix it I'm not sure but make sure it's not gonna happen to you because I really really don't like these uh, arrows and the, the yellow and especially the red this is no go in fusion okay so now you see I fixed it and yeah and that's it so this is how you're gonna you know play with it let me go this way a little bit more out I hope it's not gonna crash <laughs> and yeah see got a really funny shape here so um, okay so that this is it as I said it's very simple it's very easy technique and you can use it to do any kind of uh, shape and frame you know and profile that you want for your rim so if you have any more questions please let me know in the uh, comment section and um, yeah if you have you want me to create another tutorial for another part so you have to be more specific exactly which part you want send me a link or something like that and i'll see if i can do it okay i'm by all means no car mechanic or you know mechanical engineer or something like that but i can figure out designing stuff so you have to be really really specific and um, yeah so good luck with your projects i hope it helps and i'll see you in the next video bye bye